Greetings Imperial Citizens, Anthony here. Thank you so much for choosing to watch. Hang right on to the end of this video because I'm doing a giveaway. I'm giving away this squad of stormtroopers. So hang around and I'll tell you exactly how to win these guys. Now, I know I owe you guys a painting tutorial still uh, on how to make a shadow speeder bike with special guest star Moff Bobros, but life keeps getting in the way and it's a, it's kind of ridiculous because I actually, I've been planning this video for <laughs> over a year. When I wrote the script and started planning it out, uh, this version hadn't even been released. The, the best version was still the 2012 Toys R Us exclusive speeder bike, but I don't know. It just hasn't materialized. But in the meantime, I want to give a quick update on my Imperial Army. So if you're not familiar, this is the uh, 88th Eternal Battalion. Uh, it consists of 100 and... no, not 100. 1,172 troopers. That doesn't include the droids. That takes it well over 1,200 figures. I'm, I'm always trying to upgrade and use the newest sculpts possible. The big challenge is the stormtroopers because I have I have three companies, uh, three infantry companies, actually four. This is an infantry company, but uh, it's a little bit more specialized. So three regular infantry companies with three platoons each of stormtroopers. There's nine total platoons of stormtroopers. And of those nine, I have upgraded eight of them. So there's one last platoon. But before I get to that, let me walk you through some of the other things that I'm going to upgrade. First off is these Imperial Jump Troopers, which I love, are going to get replaced with the Jetpack Trooper here in the back. I have a case of eight on the way from Entertainment Earth. Just want to keep the platoon very consistent, have them all at least Stormtrooper-ish armor. Now you're going to ask, what am I going to do with these guys? Well, I have all the Force Unleashed troopers, the uh, Imperial Navy Commando, the uh, Jump Trooper, of course, and the two EVA troopers, the Camouflaged and the, uh, the, the regular, and that'll make one full platoon. The only challenge is where it's going to fit in to my already full battalion. The, the other thing that I'm doing is I'm upgrading my stands. I'm replacing my Marauder Gunrunner stands with a, a new stand system. And what's great about this new stand system is that everything just lines up a lot better. So these first two platoons are using the new system. And then the Marauder Gunrunner, which is uh, just, you know, it just doesn't hold them well enough. And it's a little less organized. I'll be giving a lot of detail about that in the coming weeks. I'm excited to share that with you guys. As I was upgrading the stands, I came across my ATSDs here and realized that I need to finish this off with the new TVC sculpt. I was using still a lot of the saga version which uh you know really don't doesn't hold up all that well to be honest tvc version it could it could definitely use an upgrade uh, it's it's just vanilla you you know adding the the premium articulation with a ball jointed specifically barbell hips uh and just better defined contours i mean it's uh, i'll i'll show you the other the, the better sculpts you know better older sculpts but it's just as like just okay. The benefit of redoing this guy is that they have the tooling. They could make three figures out of it. In addition to the ATST driver, they could also do the Imperial Officer and uh, Scanning Crew, the Scanning Crew member. What I've been doing, I have been upgrading my Imperial Officers a bit because uh, they're they're twenty year old sculpts. So I've been taking the TVC ATST driver and painting them black. And I only did a couple. I need to get more ATSG drivers, but here on the corner is uh, one of the guys that I, I painted. It, it definitely looks better. He's next to the uh, Saga versions, which, again, I, yeah, they're really old. Uh, they, uh, it first came out in 2001 in the Power of the Jedi line and re-released in 
2003. So <laughs> over 20 years old. That that's amazing, and I feel old. But the better sculpts in this uniform is a scanning crew. I love this one. It's not as articulated, but it's solid. I mean, just just it just has a lot of definition. They they're really solid figures. In fact, uh, I painted a couple of these guys as the squad leader. Uh, here's one in back. You know, they but uh, they don't have the uh, the gloves on like regular imperial officers. I would love to use the scanning trooper or the scanning crew body for all these guys, but <laughs> look them up on eBay and uh, they're thirty bucks a pop now. So yeah, that's 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 not going to happen anytime soon. Let's go to the stormtroopers here and let's share what the deal is with these guys. So the first platoons in each company are all the holstered. 231 stormtroopers and the first two are the walmart versions so they have the black eye lens the third platoon is the third company first platoon is the newer version with the green lenses but uh, that's definitely not showing up now, uh, a little fun fact there's actually differences between the two versions aside from the lenses on your left here is the old version, and the, on the right is the new version. The, the whiteness is one of the glaring differences, at least to me. Uh, the old version is definitely a, a solid white, and the new version, for some reason, is just a hair off-white. The, the other thing that is an improvement is the peg holes. The rocker ankle peg holes just are too shallow, and they just are not just they're just not sufficient and they're all over the place after this version they definitely upgraded and uh, by the time they got to the uh, re-release they're they're pretty solid although they're still shallow they're all fairly consistent and uh, do have enough depth to sit in pegs so moving on to second platoon all three are the rogue one 140 stormtroopers without the rocker ankles and without holsters. And these guys are very off white. Moving in the back, these are all 231 style, but this third platoon in the first company is specifically Navarro stormtroopers. So I just put aside the cannon and gave them all blasters. And then next door, these are all heavy gunner stormtroopers. Again, uh, set aside the uh, Gatling guns and give them all blasters. Now, the difference between these two is, here we go, is the Navarro has the, uh, the painted detail grill, but the heavy gunner ones do not. Uh, the heavy gunner ones are more like the Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi helmets because in the movies, they, for whatever reason, they... Whether they're saving money or not, they decided not to paint those grills, so that, that's a little bit more movie accurate. Moving on to the last platoon, this is going to be definitely a uh, mishmash of, of figures. I still have over a dozen VOTC in there to upgrade. Got some of the heavy gunners and the rogue ones. I'm not sure what's going to go in there. It's expensive to, you know, at $17 a pop, it's expensive to upgrade, but I will be upgrading all those in the coming months and that'll be complete. And once I upgrade, I'm going to do a more detailed video to share with you guys all the nooks and crannies of my army here. That's it. And now let's put this here. Now it's time for the giveaway. That's why you guys are here, right? As I promised, I'm giving away these VOTC-style VOTC Stormtroopers. These in particular are the Legacy Collections uh, Stormtroopers, more or less a re-release of the very first super-articulated VOTC that came out in 2004. But they fixed the yellowing problem, so the ABS plastic is more durable and they fixed the uh, 
the legs because in the 2004 version, one leg is a little shorter than the other. So th these are pretty solid. And then the last, the ninth Stormtrooper is the Tentative 4 Stormtrooper. That's the way I designed my uh, squads back then. If you want to win this squad, you have to leave a comment below and write, Long Live the Empire, you'll be automatically entered to win. And we're going to do the drawing next week on November 17th in the evening, West Coast time. We have a full day, but it's going to be live on Instagram, not on YouTube. So follow me on Instagram. I'll give more details. It's going to be a live drawing in the evening with special guest, Mock Afra. So that's it. That's it for this communique. But now it's time for you to do your part for the Empire. Like, subscribe, please share this video. Help me grow my channel. Definitely leave a comment below with Long Live the Empire if you want to win this squad. And await the next transmission.